We're back, people, and today we're breaking down film on Leo Chanel, Kansas City Chiefs rookie linebacker. I was a big fan of him coming out of Wisconsin. He's played really well versus the run for the Chiefs. He's powerful at the point of attack. He plays with those violent hands to shock O linemen. Uh, very good at diagnosing run concepts as well. Um, and he played pretty limited snaps overall in the season. He played multiple different linebacker spots for the Chiefs, but versus the run, he was pretty dominant. Didn't get to see him too much in coverage. Um, he's kind of a weird player when it comes to his athleticism because he tested off the charts like as an elite athlete, but he doesn't play like that on the f uh, on his film. He has moments where his athleticism shows up. He flashes it for sure, but overall I would say he's just like an average athlete at best. But versus the run, just absolutely dominant with his hands, diagnosing things, fitting versus the run, and then shedding, making tackles near the line of scrimmage, and I expect him to get even better as his career goes on. Really like this play from Chanel. We'll watch this at full speed here. He just recognizes the pulling guard, takes on a pulling guard at the point of attack, and just look how violent his hands are. Like a lot of linebackers struggle to take on O linemen at the point of attack, like especially when it's just them versus an O lineman. Maybe if they're covered and they have to double team a D line and then reach to the second level, linebackers can avoid them. But right here, he just keys. They motion over, so he has to bump over his gaps, his gap responsibility pre-snap. So he's bumping over and then still recognizes the pulling guard, gets down, meets him right here near the line of scrimmage, gets low, extends those arms. You can see the power he has, the core strength. He is pushed back a little, but he gets his leverage to battle and then keeps fighting with his hands, throws him off, sheds right when the running back is about to declare towards his gap. Um, and just really fantastic play, wrap up, make this only about a two yard gain because he Shows a really good job processing pre-snap to get in the right position. Reading the pulling alignment. The tight end also pulling from this side. Takes him on at the point of attack. Just impressive play from Chanel. This time we get to see Chanel shooting into the backfield over here. Um, just beats the tight end quickly. Recognizes what's going on. They uh, are heavy to his side. And he's kind of the force player here. But he feels that he can split these tight ends. So he takes the opportunity to shoot this gap. And just he stays square. He like dips his shoulder too, gets his hand underneath, rips under to reduce the surface area. So the tight end like barely ends up moving him. Um, gets Then gets square back to the line of scrimmage, stays disciplined, good technique overall. And then he gets just into the backfield to stop Walker for no gain. Um, just an impressive play versus run. You can align him in so many different spots because he can be an off-ball linebacker. But you can also get him lined up on the edge to play versus the run. Um, I, I'll even have some plays where he's lined up like standing up almost like in a defensive tackle position just because he can take on all linemen at the point of attack. Got Chanel right here lined up as an off-ball linebacker again. He's on the backside of this run and just look at this. This is really impressive. This is the type of play I saw him make in college. Um, he recognizes run. He sees his gap open up right here. Um, he's responsible for the B gap. He sees his tight ends inserting. He's got the double team going on, reading this double team. So he just tries to shoot underneath. And the guard then tries to come off, get hands on. And look at this ability to just bend underneath. He dips this shoulder, still staying square to the line of scrimmage. He's fitting his gap. So he's not getting like too over aggressive, um, leaving run lanes open. But then to able to dip under, throw this elbow back to like get his hips lined up to where he can get uh, the tackle on the run carrier. This is super impressive play from chanel to get into the backfield and make this tackle when the ball is shooting up into this a gap right here and he's coming from the b gap is getting blocked from an alignment but just this ability to reduce his surface area like this is pretty good athleticism like sometimes he looks pretty stiff but right here he shows off a little bit of fluidity to get underneath that block right there change directions uh impressive impressive play one of my favorite plays i saw from him all season long this is a pretty advanced play from chanel he's an a gap defender um, on this play specifically and just watch him he goes up to fill his gap and then once the running back declares that he's not going to go there this is how you play versus the run you're fitting into what you do he fits into the a gap takes this away it forces the running back to now bounce it to the outside towards you know where his other defenders are this defender should be setting the edge probably making this play not allowing him to bounce but now chanel is just in tracking mode he's stacking He's tracking over the top, staying in phase with the running back. He's just able to scrape over the top. you got to be able to do this, fill your gap, and then scrape once he's declared that he's not going to enter your gap. You can just scrape over the top and then help make this tackle, you know, 
be definitely less than what they would have gained. He probably would have had a full head of steam running into some DBs, picked up 10 plus yards if he didn't scrape over the top and uh, fix some other people's mistakes on the play. Chanel, slightly off screen right here. He'll come into the play in a second, but they try to block him with a wide receiver, which is just a huge mistake. We've seen him take on tight ends, even O-linemen, and now he just takes on uh, the receiver. You can see his technique really well here because he's square, has a nice wide base, and his hand placement's really good timing. And then now he, you see him extend his hands and his hips fully to now just regain this gap to the inside, get the inside leverage, and then get the tackle at the line of scrimmage just... He'll beat any type of blocker that you put in front of him, especially a wide receiver. But just this is a really good example to see his uh, technique on this play fully extended when everything is just easy for him. Uh, this is about as clean as it gets from a linebacker perspective. Chanel right here, they motion pre-snap. So he's getting widened out here outside of the tight end. He's like in a Sam linebacker position and uh, he's going to help be responsible, be like a secondary force defender for the uh, QB read option. They bring the tight ends out on the edge. I'm pretty sure he's just in man-to-man -man on this tight end. And then once he sees the quarterback pull, he just slips underneath that block here. Just good recognition. Good feel for space too because we've seen him take on blocks at the point of attack, stack, shed, use that power. But just a good feel to just get underneath without even getting hands on. We've seen him like dip his shoulders, reduce surface area. This time he just shows off a little bit of quickness, some closing burst to get underneath he'll make a tackle for loss on this quarterback. Here we get Chanel as a weak side linebacker, and here you get to see him working in pursuit on the backside of a play. We've seen him take on blocks at the point of attack, but here on the backside of an outside zone play, I mean, he's got a good alignment here. He's lined up head up over the guard, um, like in a 20 technique, but he just recognizes the flow instantly. Look how quickly he recognizes the flow of this play. Gets off the ball instantly, moving much faster than everyone else. And just gets down, shoots into the gap, and gets ETN in the backfield to help on this loss. Um, love to see the decisiveness that he shows here as a rookie. He's expecting it pre-snap. You can tell that he's expecting it pre-snap. Him and Bolton are communicating too as well. That Bolton is going to like scrape over the top. And they're going to kind of just... He's going to be responsible for Lawrence on the read option. So he has the freedom to just shoot this gap, get down, and uh, create this tackle for loss on ETN. Obviously, this right here, not a run play, but it's a sack by Lucianel. And this is something I hope to see more of in the future from the Chiefs, uh, allowing him to blitz a little more, maybe even getting him some like snaps off the edge, blitzing, uh, just rushing the passer. Because coming out of Wisconsin, like he had some games where he was getting like three sacks. He was a dominant blitzer. He has a great feel for timing to just shoot down into this gap. He feels the opening. The running back sees him late. Like he was destroying running backs in college. He has some nice closing speed here too. Some better burst than you probably would expect. And then even though the running back, he forces Lawrence first of all, he gets the pressure on Lawrence, it forces him to have to move, make him uncomfortable. And he still takes on this block pretty well from ETN, even though he attacks him low. He's still able to stay on his feet, shows off some nice core strength, some balance, and he doesn't give up on it too, shows the effort and then chases Lawrence down to get the sack. So really like this effort too from Chanel. Uh, plays with, a, he's a highly competitive player overall, but it would just want to see him blitz some more possibly next season because it's something that he does really well here we got chanel lined up down on the line of scrimmage just right in the b gap like this is like what they do when like with the bears like with a bear front back in the day getting a linebacker just down in the face of an o lineman you just don't see many linebackers being able to do this taking on an o lineman at the point of attack look at him just look at this pure power because they flow to his side outside zone to his side he's responsible for the b gap doesn't want this o lineman to cross his face he's still in a pretty good spot and you can just see this power, the torque, use the momentum against the alignment, throw him to the ground, stuff up this gap, constrict these run lanes, and then helps, you know, uh, minimize the gain that Henry gets on this play. But just love him, love to see that a linebacker is able to do this, uh, taking on these O-linemen at the point of attack. It's very, very impressive work from Leo Chanel. Last play, that on a breakdown on this rookie, the Chiefs linebacker, really big fan of his game, especially versus the run. Want to see some more work in coverage. Like, the stuff he did do this season was a lot of just spot dropping. He didn't really get targeted, so it wasn't, like, super negative. It's just he wasn't really involved. Um, he's never going to be, like, a super amazing player in coverage. But I believe he's going to be a solid player for the Chiefs for a long time. I actually believe he helped make Nick Bolden better as well. Because he gave Nick Bolden a little more freedom to make some big-time plays. Because a lot of his big plays came when Chanel were on the field. But just here, 
uh, lead outside zone. He has to take on the fullback at the point of attack. He drops his shoulder into Juszczyk, who's the best fullback in the NFL. And look at the power to just blow up this play by himself. Um, Juszczyk has bullied a decent amount of linebackers throughout the years. And this is a rookie just getting low with his leverage. You can see the play strength that he has. This is just pure power. Pop in the shoulder, drop in the hammer. Um, then gets uh, the to slow McCaffrey down. And he basically gets the tackle here as well. Um, some guys finish it off, but he slows him down, makes the great play at the point of attack. This is what you got to do. This is your job. Take on the fullback. Got to blow him up. Got to help your teammates out. And then everyone else gets there, flies to the ball. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.